Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Hope that you are doing well. It's your home girl, Nelly Go. What? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's your home girl, Nelly Go. I'm so excited to be here with you once again this moment, this time. So, on today's video, I thought I'd experiment some of the old techniques that were being used in order to save money and, you know, keep your makeup in place for a very long time. And when I saw a video of a person using baby powder to set their makeup in place, I thought let me just try that because I know that that is an old trend it used to be a thing back in the days so I thought baby powder is a very 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 affordable it smells good and it's, you can easily access it like you can get it anyway anyway you can get your baby powder so I thought let me use this to set my makeup and see how it works and I'll also be doing a flash photography test to see if this is gonna give me flashback or not because the claims are that it does not give you flashback so I'm gonna be putting that all to the test today and seeing how it works for me so I just finished doing my eyebrows and I look a bit crazy okay no I look very crazy because I have eyebrows and nothing else going on but we're gonna fix that and my hands also look crazy it's it's okay so right now I'm gonna put on my primer and then set that in place for primer I'm gonna be using the, the glow boosting plus pore minimizing primer and this is from essence some song of the paper pulled from my lips. My primer is down, and then now I'm gonna go in with a baby powder to set this in place. So, this is a low boosting primer, and the, what we're hoping for is that after setting this in place, we get sort of like a matte finish kind of finish. So, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna use this empty lid that I have, and then I'm just gonna put on my baby powder in here so that it's easy to work with. So, let's do that. If this works, then this is gonna be my new thing because I'm gonna save my coin and also smell good. Who doesn't wanna smell like a baby's butt? Don't tell me in the comments that I'm not supposed to do this. I'm gonna do it anyway because it's my skin. It's what I wanna do. So leave me alone. Now I know my skin is already prob problematic as it is, but mind your own business. Okay, so I'll just go in and smaller brush to set this part in place because of mm, this is messy I already concealed this part so to avoid messing up here on my forehead I'm gonna use a beauty blender instead a damp beauty blender to like put in the baby powder So I just finished doing my baby powder. I'm gonna go in with a certain spray to set everything in place and then do my foundation after that. So in order to set this in place, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Super Stay 24 hour setting spray. And I'm just gonna set this in place and yeah, I'll come back after that. So now that our setting spray has dried down, I'm gonna go in with a foundation, put that in place and see how it works. Initially, I was gonna go in with a foundation that's new, sort of like the, that I do not use that often, but I thought it wouldn't be fair on the baby powder because I do not know if this foundation will give me flashback or not. So what I'm gonna do is go in with my two usual foundations that I'm sure that they do not give me flashback when I have used to them and then use those and yeah, we'll take it from there. These are the foundations that I'm gonna be using and this is the Maybelline Fit to Me Matte Plus Poreless. I mixed the shades 365 and 362 to get my like sort of like perfect shade. And yeah, I'm gonna mix this to the two and then use those on my face. So here are my foundations and I'm just gonna mix the two together and apply on my face. Mm -hmm. 
So as I blend my foundation in place, I love going in with the setting spray to help like the foundation blend more easily. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna use the same setting spray that I initially used in order to blend this in place. As I'm blending this foundation in place, I'm noticing that the powder works well with the foundation. So the powder doesn't move around a lot or at all when you're blending the foundation. And the foundation is also easy to blend on top of the baby powder. As in when you're using like regular setting powder. So I think I got like a decent amount of coverage. Right now I'm going to go in and highlight and then use baby powder again to set my highlight in place. Let's do that. So I'm gonna let this sit for a bit so that it gives me like more coverage and while I wait for this to kind of like sit I'm gonna go in with my contour to like do my eyeshadow because I don't want to do too much so I'm gonna do that and then come back after that and then blend this in place. So right now I'm going to go in with the foundation brush that I used to make sure that I cancel out any harshness. I don't want my highlight to be too harsh on the edges. So I'm going to go in with that to like soften it up. And now that I'm done with all that, I'm going to go in with my baby powder to like set my highlight in place. So let's do that. Just going to add a bit more. Great. I'm going to use that now to set my highlight in place. I already set my highlight with the baby powder. I try to blend it as much as, like, make sure that it's in there as much as possible. But yeah, as you can see, I'm looking very like ashy. I look like kind of, I look kind of gray. So I'm, I'm scared at this point. Honestly, I don't know how this is gonna come out. So I'm really scared. So right now I'm just gonna go in and contour. So to contour, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Face HD High Definition Matte Press Powder. And yeah, I'm just gonna use that, that. I look very gray. <laughs> I look very gray. I don't like this. I have a bad feeling about this. A very bad feeling about this. Oh my god, I look horrible. <laughs> So I'm just gonna use the baby powder that I have left to correct my contouring around my nose and around this area. That doesn't look right. Wow. 
why did I think I could pull this off? Alright. That line ain't even straight. How rude. I'm gonna let that sit a bit before I could go back and like use my finishing powder. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna like set my brows in place using my brow gel, my trusted brow gel. Look, you can have like proud of my brows today. So after allowing the baby powder to set into the skin, I'm going to go back with my powder brush to dust the excess off. And yeah, after that, I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Pressed Powder to finish my whole face and make sure that everything blends together. Uh, I'm just putting this all over. Maybe it'll help cancel the ashiness. Now I'm just gonna use my setting spray to set everything in place. We need to get that, to get that, to get that. I'm gonna use my setting spray to set everything in place. Where's the lead? So I can close this baby up. Okay, maybe later. So yeah guys, right now I'm just gonna finish everything and then do the flash photography test. And we'll see how that goes out. Let's just do that. <laughs> yes, she is sitting edged. Look at that. Hello, bum. Hey, how are you? Hi. How are you doing? I look good. I look bad. Ha ha. Oh god, don't fall off, please. Let's go take pictures. So we at the darkest room that we have in the house, and this is it with the lights on. I'm gonna turn the lights off so that you guys you know that the only source of light that we have is the flash, and then we're gonna take pictures from that. So let's do that. Alright. Duck, duck, duck. Let's do this. So, I just finished doing, um, taking pictures. So basically me doing a flash photography test and yeah, as you guys have seen already from the footage and um, the pictures came out like really looking what very very well uh, it seemed like there was a bit of color difference between my face and my neck the back of my neck because so i didn't put foundation at the back of my neck hence why and yeah this part of my body is very dark maybe that's why as well but there was no flashback as in like flashback i'll show you what what flashback looks like i'll insert a picture whereby i was testing out this other powder for flashback and you'll see what flashback is and you'll compare with the picture that i took today to see that there was really no flashback so this really works and i'm gonna be using it like i mean like how dangerous can it be it's not like i'm getting the powder into my eyes or into my mouth or i'm inhaling it i'm just putting it on my face and after that i make sure to clean up my face very well so that's just me trying to encourage myself to doing this but anyways that's it for today's video i hope that you guys enjoyed the video and found it somewhat helpful and you know what boo consider using baby powder to set your makeup in place every once in in a while okay maybe if you're stranded you forgot your powder you're on vacation which is then you can buy baby powder because who wants to spend 150 rands when you're on vacation just on a setting powder just get yourself baby powder 15 reds you done anyways yeah i feel so cute i wasn't planning on doing another video but i'm i'm just gonna sit here and like film another video because i'm feeling very cute so let me know down below if you will be trying out this technique i feel like i'm i'm gonna use it like every once in a while let's 
because certain part is expensive let's just be honest anyways that's it for today's video i hope that you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys in my next one and yeah be sure to watch my previous video that i'll insert on the screen and also subscribe to my channel for more of me and you know what we have fun on this channel so subscribe and watch the video that i have on the screen for you right at this moment until next time beautiful people remember to be your best self love yourself and you know what do whatever makes you happy all right okay i'll see you guys in my next one take care Bye.